Greetings everyone, Xanrath here. Welcome back to more Hearthstone, another week, another tavern brawl. And this week, Blinktron's Beauteous Brawl. Blinktron is ready to rumble. He changes your hero power to get a random weapon, and he gives you random weapons. Um, so I'm curious if that means, like, you use your hero power, and it's like, it changes it to get a random weapon, and therefore, you know, comma, and he gives you a random weapon. Or if it's supposed to be like this, and it's like full stop. And then randomly, he'll just give you a weapon without you doing anything. Right? So, I guess we'll figure that out when we get in there. If you get what I'm saying. You know, grammar and all that stuff. Anyways, um, so, obviously with weapons, we have, like, what classes have weapons, typically? Uh, rogue, warrior, uh, shaman, paladin, hunter, I think, are the only ones, right? Druid, warlock, priest, mage, don't have them. So, um... You know, I think some classes obviously play to the uh, the kind of weapon thing a little bit better, and I think, at least in my mind, Rogue and Warrior are kind of up there, uh, first of all, because ha I think they have the widest selection of weapons, and then obviously Rogue, I think, is like the kingpin for, like, weapon buffs, right? You got, like, your poisons, your oils, your, like, various, like, pirate mech things, barbers that give you, like, whatever, and so um, I think Rogue is obviously the best choice here, but... When designing this deck, I was like, okay, well, if everyone has weapons, then uh, let's put a bunch of taunts so they have to, like, use their face to, like, really utilize the weapon, right? Except for Rogue, I guess you can, like, Blade Flurry and just clear everything without using your face, something like that. Anyways, uh, so given that I want to play, like, weapons and then, like, run taunts, uh, I guess it's a good chance to go for some bolster action, right? Because, like, the only time you'll ever see bolster is, well, there's that one... Uh, Warrior class challenge, I think, that was in uh, Leaving Explorers, right? Something like that. So, anyways, we're going with Warrior. That's why I'm choosing Warrior over Rogue, which I think is clearly better. Um, so, yeah. Anyways, that long-winded introduction aside, uh, let's go ahead and uh, bolster boys, right? We'll see how this works. Hopefully, it'll work. Um, otherwise, I guess I don't know. We'll go. We'll just be forced to play Rogue or something like that. Um, yeah, anyways, that's the strategy. Go for a bunch of taunts. Hopefully beef them up with some bolster action. Um, well, here we go. Rogue, just like I thought. So, um, I, mean, I guess other than like the, all the weapon busts and stuff like that, what else would Rogue play? Um, I don't know. So we'll go ahead and just keep this. Some twos are pretty decent. Uh, I guess an ooze is alright too. We can maybe... Mess them up a little bit. Uh, is there a game? Oh, we can start with weapons. Oh, what's this? New weapon? Foam sword. Uh, when this breaks, randomly summon a new weapon. Oh, so that's what it means by bling chance, whatever thing. Right, so I guess we'll go ahead and just swing at his face. Um. Yep, foam swords. Oh, we all have, we both have like 10 armor to start with. So it's like, it's, it's almost like one day I'll be a real knight, right? Uh, so I guess we'll go ahead and hit, so I get a random weapon when this breaks, right? Um, Poison Blade. Right. Uh, do I want to play something? Let's get something new, actually, and we'll see what's up. That's not that much better, I guess. I don't know, it's, it's decent. Maybe, like, yeah, okay, sure, that's a little better, actually. Um, I guess I'll just go ahead and drop the Noitron next turn. Um... I guess I could have dropped it this turn. Doesn't really matter. Uh, he's getting a Stormforge Axe. Alright, cool. Is he gonna swap it? No, nope, he's gonna play something. He's gonna coin out. I don't know. SI. Would you just SI face? Because he is gonna SI face. Um. So. Let's go ahead and. So I guess when I break his thing with like my ooze, it's gonna give him a new weapon, right? So that's. Maybe. Not super productive. Uh, we'll just go ahead and throw out the Anointron. Um, guess we'll just go ahead and hit him there. So if you want to trade, then he'll die. Um, the following turn, I think I'll probably play something and then like change my weapon. I don't think I don't remember if I have four drops in this deck. Shredder would be nice, I guess. But yeah, anyways. Uh, so there we go. There's the deadly. Um, I guess we'll go ahead and just, uh, he's gonna flurry that, maybe? Nope, he's gonna eviscerate that. That's fine. Um, just 
curious about the flurry because if he isn't, I'm gonna go ahead and just like lose that, I guess. Um, to get rid of. So hitting that guy with my face wasn't the best choice, but that's fine. Go ahead and do this. Um, ugh. that's a little wonky. Let's see if. Hmm, do I want to just go ahead and taunt him, or do I want to roll and try to get something that can kill this guy? Let's do that. All right. Not great, but that's fine. Uh, it does the job, right? I could have gotten, like, a Dawn Slide or something. Another True Silver. Or not True Silver. Uh, what was that called? The one fight. The, one, the thing that I had. Whatever that's called. Let's Justice? Something? I don't know. Uh, oh, did he miss? Okay. Um, what else has one attack? Poison Blade. Uh, there's that Cogwheel thing. Sword of Justice, okay, that's what it is. Not Light of Justice, Sword of Justice. Um, alright, I guess we'll go ahead and... I could draw five cards and mill myself. Let's go ahead and just play the Smith, I think. Um, you don't really need to play the Belcher quite yet, because he doesn't have a great weapon. If he wants to reroll it, it's going to kind of cost... Uh, it's going to take up, you know, 40% of his turn, mana-wise. Um, so we'll hold that... In case we draw a bolster, if we ever draw a bolster. Um, even then, bolster wouldn't be that great in this situation, because we're moving, only buffing the one taunt, so... Yeah. I guess I can throw a sparring partner on like the taunt on this guy or something. And then... Uh, I don't know, maybe hide an armorsmith behind that. Alright, he's going to backstab, because it looks like he has the eviscerate for that as well. Um, so that's two eviscerates, one poison down, right? So there's one more poison, one tinkers. Oh, he's gonna go ahead and just tinkers that. I guess I'll Harrison that then. Um, this guy hasn't really been able to utilize his, a, uh, his, uh, bu -bu 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 buffs that effectively. At least I've been able to counteract them. I'm gonna mill one of my cards, right? Uh, I play this, I have, no, wait, hold on. It's four, right? And I have six right now. I play this up. Yeah, okay, so I'm good. I'm not going to mill unless he draws me or something. Uh, let's see what I get out of this first. Um, don't think it changes anything, but hey. Uh, Death Rattle. Oh. Well, that's actually interesting now. Am I actually going to lose this hero power um, and get two damage uh, instead? Or whatever. Uh, deal two damage instead. Alright, so I have five. I should draw four, right? So I should be good. Um, I'm not milling anything. Maybe I'll draw into bolster. Guess not. Alright, uh, that kind of sucks for him. Um, hopefully he won't concede. Oh, he's got the. Oh, wow. He's got a vanish. That's very cute. That is very cute. Um, and I actually just realized that aspirant. Or whatever, Ogumar Aspirant, whatever it's called. Probably not the best. Right? Because if I hero power, I'm going to be losing a weapon. Or actually, would it be buffing the next weapon? So I guess I can kind of... I don't know. That that In hindsight, that seems like a pretty bad card to have. Anyways, uh, what is our play here? Um, Let's go ahead and just throw some little taunt dudes out. Um, do I want to save this for anything for a bigger weapon, perhaps? Maybe. Let's go ahead and just throw these two guys out. Um, go ahead and swing his face. So that's actually kind of... I don't know. I I guess you could... I could see you running a Vanish as a rogue, but... I don't know. Maybe not. I don't know. It didn't, it didn't really kind of occur to me. Not necessarily occur to me, but like... um, I just didn't think that Vanish would necessarily be that great in this deck. But... If he's thinking like I'm thinking, right, and playing taunts, and a lot of people are going to be playing taunts, then actually that would be pretty decent. Yeah. Alright, so, uh, I guess let's go ahead and just, like, throw this oh, armor smith out there. Um, actually, I probably want to use that, because I don't want him to get a big, uh, whatchamacallit, some poison or some tinker stuff on that. Wow, he's, he's been getting that Stormforge Axe a lot. Uh, I'll go ahead and just throw this out, and... I'll hold. I think I'll hold on the attack. Um, 
Second Vanish, pretty decent, I suppose. Um, it will mill me another card, but meh, don't really care too much. Uh, let's see. What's the plan next turn, then? He's going to prep. Prep Sprint, probably. Nope, prep Vanish. Interesting. All right, all right. I'm fine with that. I don't really care too much. Uh, uh not super great. Let's see. Hope I don't mill a bolster. That would be pretty sad. Watch me mill a bolster. Oh, okay, cool. That's fine. Uh, let's go ahead and just play. Uh, I didn't really think that out or think that through. Uh, we'll just play this. I wanted to play the armor smith, so I probably should have played like armor smith, and then have seven mana. Play like a belcher and uh, blood seal maybe. All right, so he's playing like. The Vanish, the Saps, and all that stuff. Another? Oh, no. He, okay, Cog Hammer. I was like, another Stormforge attack? Man, this guy's like favorite weapon is Storm, uh, Stormforge X or whatever it's called. Alright. That's fine. I haven't been re-rolling this weapon because I'm kind of scared that it might... You know what? F it. I don't even care. Let's go ahead and just re-roll this. Alright. I guess it, it did do that. Um, okay, so, I'll do that, put this dude, um, so that actually, I guess this will be my last weapon. Okay, that's fine-ish, I suppose. Uh, do I still have a Taz thing? I know you killed it, right? Okay, so we'll go ahead and just, uh, just throw the Belcher out there, I guess. Um, so, I guess you can override this, uh, your power. So I guess if you play Murgleton, you can not have weapons. So that kind of stuff. Oh man. Uh, probably gonna. Uh, actually, actually, probably not. Cause if he's gonna keep hitting and using his face, then you know, by all means, man, by all means. All right, let's see. Oh uh, no. Okay, so that's, uh, hold on. Not quite. All right. Well, that was fairly amusing, I suppose. Um. He didn't really have super great follow-ups to his, uh, whatchamacallit, his buffs, right? Because the, the one poison... Did I get both his poisons? No, I don't think so. Maybe I did. I don't remember. I feel like I did. I definitely got one and a Tinker's Oil. Um, used them both, or, well, Harrisoned one of them. Destroyed them, uh, either way. Um, super sad I didn't get the bolster, because... I mean, well, I finally drew one, and I had a bunch of stuff in my hand, but he vanished a lot of stuff, too, so that didn't quite work out. But, um, yeah, I definitely feel like Rogue, probably better, uh, best class, just because, like I said, they have the most ways to kind of amplify their, uh, the weapons, and, you know, like, if you get a Doom Hammer or something, you just get, like, you know, a poison on that, and that's, well, you know, eight swings, two extra damage is 16 damage, an, ex an extra 16 damage, right? That's pretty significant. Um, and you got, like, the flurries for, like, big, um, what you call it, uh, buffs on your weapon, and they just clear the board and all that stuff, especially if you're playing against people like me who, like, just run taunts. Um, but yeah, super sad I didn't get to do the bolster. This aspirant, probably not the best. Probably would, in, if I were to do it again, uh, I would probably take that out, because I guess you would inspire, uh, maybe okay, you would, like, Inspire, switch your weapon out, and then get a an attack on that new weapon. So you're kind of optimizing it in a sense, right? Because like you can't get you will always have at least two damage, which is pretty relevant, I suppose, right? For killing off like early game stuff. I don't know, like oozes and other things like that. Um, it was kind of interesting at the end that uh, I was able to lose my hero power. I definitely know, I mean, obviously, like, Murgleton will let you change your hero power. Um, I don't know if they thought that through, because there's that, char yeah, what was it called? Charge Hammer or something? The Shaman card, I think it was, right? That uh, went on Death Rattle, it makes you lose your, uh, or change your hero power to deal the two damage. So that was kind of funny that um, there's always just that chance that you'll just get that, and then you're not going to have a weapon, which, um, I mean, obviously decks like uh, the Rogue would really... Well, I guess the Rogue... No, because you lose your... You don't have the Rogue hero power anymore, right? So, 
Anyways, fun food for thought. That charged hammer can really kind of throw a kink in people's plans if you get it early on and it lasts long enough, right? Anyways, that was uh, this week's Tavern Brawl. Interesting concept. I definitely think so. Um, curious to see if other people are making like non-weapon classes work um, in this particular brawl just because you'll get a weapon. Um, so, yep, that's it for this week. And uh, until next time, thanks for watching. Bye.